You can't trust game companies to put the content in a title that they've promised, and unfortunately, the latest game on the list is Zenless Zone Zero, because now we are finding out that after the full beta and seeing all the content that was supposed to be in the title, like suggestive poses and jiggle physics, will not be making it into the full launch of the game. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube membership. Now, this is one of those very rare instances where I am actually referencing a The Gamer article, and it's not an attack on gamers, but it's a Zenless Zone Zero fans are up in arms over censorship. Uh, the game's second beta has kicked off, giving fans of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail a look at what MiHoYo is cooking with its third big title. This is a game that I know a lot of people were pretty excited for. I personally never get excited for MiHoYo games just because they have time and time again kind of betrayed the fan base that they have tried so desperately to work towards capturing. But unfortunately, it seems like a lot of them aren't too pleased with what they've seen as it appears as though the developer has toned back some of the game's gore, character outfits, and in more suggestive poses. One of the major issues here are the jiggle physics, okay? This uh, game, while it did have a lot of hype behind it, and a lot of people have played the betas, uh, has faced a lot of scrutiny over the past couple of days because the changes that we've seen. It says one of the biggest points of contention involves the character Nicole DeMara, who has undergone several changes since the launch of the game's first beta. For starters, MiHoYo has drastically scaled back the physics of her chest, who no longer has the ability to potentially knock herself out by quickly turning turning around. Secondly, her menu poses have changed rather dramatically too, as she makes less exaggerated movements when switching between screens. While Nicole was subject to the more drastic changes, fans have also noticed that certain characters have had their outfits slightly tweaked to cover up more skin, causing further anger and hostility towards MiHoYo. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to video games that do have a lot of fan service, you cannot trust the content that is being promised until we get the full release. And obviously, uh, another reason why people are so upset about this is because in the first beta for the game, all of this was in the title, in its glory, and pe people said, wow, you guys did a really good job with things like fan service in it. But unfortunately, going into the second beta, and obviously full release, they have decided to drastically scale back things like jiggle physics and character models and outfits. And it's just so unfortunate because you want to get excited for games, but at the same time, you just cannot trust companies, especially MiHoYo, because they have done so many things to upset their player bases over the years, uh, especially in something like Genshin Impact, where they will promise all of these costumes and then they will be drastically toned down, or you'll have, like, the black fabric of death over thighs or over cleavage. And, of course, this all goes back to the fact that they are a Chinese developer and they want this title to get a full release in China, and if you don't know, China is notorious for video game censorship. There is not any real gore allowed. There is no sexual content really allowed. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's very clear that this was for the Chinese censors, but of course they do not want to have multiple versions of the game, so they just decided we're going to scale back everything for everyone, meaning that we do not get a uncensored, all-in-its-glory release. It also says to make matters even worse for these individuals, the removal of Nicole's more suggestive poses isn't the only example of what many deem blatant censorship. In a separate thread on the ZZZ subreddit, Reddit user whatever let me in 521 noticed that the game seemed to have toned the gore back a little bit as well. So this whole game, at least right now from what we are seeing, is a giant ball of toned down and censorship. And it is so upsetting to see. I know that a thread on Twitter slash X had gone viral showing off uh, how 
they nerfed Nicole's jiggle physics, but people in general are just very upset about this game now because, again, when you get so excited for a game, it's such an awesome feeling, and then the developers end up going and basically turning on their player base after showing you what you could have had. They're going, well, actually, you can't have that anymore. People are saying things like, uh, leave it to Hoyo to de-hype me for a game I was just about to try. This is an absolute war crime. I completely agree. Um, they should understand that when you put something into a beta, um, you need to actually end up releasing that content. You need to give players what you have already promised them. And it's not even just these jiggle physics. It's so many more things like we, you know, list off, uh, you know, they toned back the gore. They changed some of the poses. They toned back the jiggle physics. I mean, it is a list of problems here. It says in the first uh, beta, the game included a comic strip of a guy's face getting completely pulverized, his jaw splitting into two in a rather gruesome fashion. Now that comic strip appears to have been altered to tone back the more gruesome aspects of the death, replacing the panel with the shattered jaw with an image of the guy's head missing entirely with not a drop of blood to be seen. And if you know, in China, you can't actually show blood. If it is something that is supposed to represent blood, it has to be like bright purple or neon green like it cannot be red and look like blood really in any way uh and of course there are you know like i mentioned a lot of people who are upset over this but many that are not very surprised unfortunately you cannot trust video game developers until a game is fully released and you can actually see the content in the final version of the game you need to do a lot of research into video games now because unfortunately a lot of censorship like this happens now again i'm not very surprised because it is mihoyo and they have done things like this time and time again especially with titles like genshin impact but it is very disappointing and i know a lot of you are going to be very upset hearing this because Zenless Zone Zero was a title many people were excited for, but unfortunately, while it might look like a very visually pleasing game, and it may look like it has very fun gameplay, it is filled to the brim with censorship now. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.